Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, two more concepts in shell scripting that is a break statement and continuous statement. So break and continue. So first let us see the break uh, statement. We'll see the syntax in this session and uh, I will execute the program explaining this break and continue statements. So coming to the break, so first point is these break and continue statements will be executed only in will be executed only in loops concept that means iterative statements that means we have to use this break and continue only either in for loop or while loop or until loop and break statement so this will irrespective of condition irrespective of condition control will exit from the loop exit from loop either it can be for loop while loop or until loop right so for example if you take a while so while condition and if you write here the instructions so do and if you write here break right and done so irrespective of the condition so these statements will be get executed until the condition becomes false right so irrespective of the condition that means even though the condition is true if the control execute this break statement the control will come out from this loop the control will immediately come out from this loop right so it will never execute the remaining uh, instructions or number in uh, uh, remaining iterations right so whenever the control executes the break automatically the control will come out from the loop so i will execute the program so that you can understand this one right and coming to the continue coming to the continue so there is a one more statement that is a continue right and the first step is the first uh, information is same so it will it will also be executed only in the loops that means either it may be for loop or while loop or do while loop and here it will exit from the current iteration okay it will exit from the current iteration so exit from current iteration current iteration and it will start with the, it will start executing next iteration next iteration that means so whenever you execute this one so while and if instead of a break i will write a continue and if whenever the control execute this continue so whatever the statements written after this continue will be skipped and directly it will move with the next iteration it will move with the next iteration doesn't exit from the loop it will move with the next iteration right so whenever the control execute this continue whatever the statements written after this continue will not be get executed will not be get executed so it will skip all the instructions written after the continue and it will directly start executing the next iteration next iteration right so that is a difference between the break and continue so irrespective of the condition if the control execute the break that will exit exit from the loop the control will exit from the loop and coming to the continue it doesn't exit from the loop but it will skip the current iteration it will move with the next iteration right so i will execute a small program demonstrating this break and continue so that if you are having any doubts those doubts can be clarified right so let's move on to the terminal hello friends so just now we have seen the syntax for the jumping statements that is a break and continue so coming to the break statement so irrespective of the condition if the control executes the break automatically the statement of the control will come out from the loop right and similarly continue if the control executes the continue it will skip the current iteration that means it will skip uh, executing the instructions which are written after the continue and it will start with the new iteration right so we have seen the syntax and now i will show the practical implementation let me open the ubuntu 
So here uh, first we'll see the break statement implemented in both the for loop and while loop. Right. So let us start with this one. So vi break for. So here move with the insert mode. So I will write a for, for loop for i in. So I will write the sequence here so that we'll get the data. So sequence 1, 1 and 10. So that means the starting number 1 and it ends with 10 with an interval, difference interval 1. So do and if if dollar i equal to some 6. So if the dollar i is equal to 6, then I just want to break it. So I will use a break statement, close the if and otherwise just simply print i value, done. So I will save this one and I will execute sh break of underscore for. So automatically it ends with 5. So whenever the i value becomes 6 automatically the loop will be terminated. So I will show once again break underscore for. So in the absence of break, in the absence of break, so it will print the complete values from 1 to 10. The complete values from 1 to 10. Now if it is 6 automatically the break will be executed. That means the control will come out from the loop. So whenever i become 6, it, it breaks the loop, right? So even the condition is true because i value holds from 1 to 10. But whenever i become 6, the control will end. So now in the place of break, in the place of break, I will write the continue and I will execute. So you can observe. So continue, so that means it will skip the current iteration. That means whatever the instructions written after the continue will be not executed and it will move with the next iteration. So whenever i become 6, if then the continue will be executed. So the 6 will not be printed here. It will move with the next iteration i is equal to 7. So let us check. So sh break underscore for. So you can observe here there is no 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When i becomes 6, it moves to the next iteration. So we have written the print statement. We have written the output statement after the continue. So whenever the continue executes, the remaining statements after the continue are, will not be get executed. So automatically it will start with the next iteration. So 6 not will be printed and it moves to the 7 and again it will start executing the sequential. So this is how we can execute the break and for, uh, sorry, break and continue in first state for loop. Now we will see the break and continue in while loop. So vi break while move to the insert mode. So let us check. Let us write uh, the value. Let us read the value for n. Value for n. And now initialize i value as 0 while dollar i hype less than if it is less than dollar n so we need to iterate all the statements until the i value is less than n value so n we are going to read it right so dollar i equal to 4 so if i value equal to 4 then i just want to break i just want to break so if i echo dollar i i will print this one and i need to update this one so for that just to use this one so dollar expression dollar i plus one and done so now you can observe so sh break while so value 10 so 0 1 2 3 and whenever i becomes 4 the control will block i mean it will break from the while see whenever i becomes 4 now i, I will just change this one i is equal to 7 
now you can observe up to 7 there will be no interruption whenever i become 7 it will it, it will stop executing so i n is equal to 10 you can see 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 when i is equal to 7 the break will be executed so the control will come out from the loop so similar irrespective of the condition if the control executes the break the control will come out from the loop now we will see the continue 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 while so here also move with the insert mode so same read the value go enter value for n so read n and initialize i with a zero and write down the while so dollar i less than dollar n so until this condition becomes false it will keep on iterating the statements so i will update this one so i is equal to dollar expression dollar i plus one and i will write the if statement so if dollar i is equal to four equal to four simply i just want to continue continue the five and i will print the value of i and done so you can observe here so sh continue underscore while so give 10 uh, there is some sort of error so vi continue underscore while yes so here we need to give the space okay right. now you can see so sh continue underscore while so if you give 10 so whenever i becomes 4 it will not be get printed because see so whenever i becomes 4 whatever the instructions the continue will be executed and if, if the continue is executed the instructions written after the continue will not be get executed right so it will not be printed so that's why we have updated in the top so if you write this updation after the continue the i value will be remain same so for number of iterations also the i value will not be updated so that's why if we are using the continue in the while first we need to update the i value then only we have to print the i value so that's why i have taken i value as zero and i have just updated the i value and then i am writing the condition here in this condition if, if this condition becomes true then i am executing the continue so automatically it will move with the next iteration right and once one more thing this continue and a break statement should be used only in the iterative statement that means either for or a while so you should not use in the conditional statements so even though here you are using in the conditional statement but that conditional statements were written in under the iterative statements either for loop or while loop so irrespective of the condition if the control executes the break the control will come out from the loop and irrespective of the condition if the control executes the continue it will skip the current iteration and it will start with the next iteration so that's the working of break and continue in iterative statements in shell script so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.